Hey you guys, how's it going? It's kind of late here in Vancouver on Sunday night and I'm just getting around to blogging now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, uh, just had a little something I wanted to show you guys today. Um, anybody who's coming here for very long knows I've been having hamstring issues pretty much for years now. Uh, they bug me a lot and I've been everywhere and to every kind of practitioner to find out, you know, what the heck's the issue with my hamstrings and everybody's got a different opinion and everybody has a different um, way to cure whatever ails me and they're all contradicting each other. Um, I've been doctors, sports doctors, I've been to physio, I've been to massage, I've been to chiro and I've been to acupuncture and they all have a different opinion. So some people say that um, they're too stretched out and I shouldn't stretch anymore and I should just be doing strengthening exercises some people say that I'm all out of balance and that one side is stronger than the other and so I should only exercise one side. Some people say they're too tight and I should be stretching more, which completely contradicts the first guy I just talked about. Um, so I've been for the past sort of six months or so um, stretching them out quite a bit more than I usually used to and it hasn't been really helping. So I know I said this a few posts ago, I decided to stop stretching completely and just concentrate on strengthening them up and they were feeling a little better at that sort of at that point and uh, so I've, uh, they, they still come and go but they haven't been as bad as they've been in a while for the last couple of weeks since I stopped stretching. So I decided to get even more serious about strengthening them and do um, some more exercises which is interesting because just yesterday on Twitter one of my regular followers um, asked me to blog about lower body exercises. So that's what I'm going to show you guys today is an exercise I'm going to start incorporating into my routines and try and strengthen my hamstrings a bit. I already do deadlifts um, and I'm just finding that they maybe aren't hitting my hamstrings quite as hard as I'd like them to hit. And uh, so I wanted to find a way to do ham curls and it's a really hard thing to do when you're at home and you work out alone with no gym equipment. Um, because there, you really kind of need to be lying on that piece of equipment and hooking your feet underneath the pad and curling your legs and doing ham curls. And to be honest, I'm not 100% sure that's not how I didn't damage them in the first place. Um, just because I had gone to the gym a few days prior to them flaring up. Or not a few days prior, but like a month prior or something. You know, I don't go to the gym very often. I usually work out at home. But um, I was like, well, I'll go to the gym. And I got on the thing just for fun. And I did a few really heavy ones and then, then like a month later or something, everything kind of went to, out of whack on me even though I wasn't working out at all during that sort of period when they went, went out of whack on me. So honestly, I don't know how I did it. it. It doesn't seem feasible that a month later they would flare up, but I did something and I don't know what. Or if I'm doing it in my sleep, I might be. I know I sleep in a kind of a weird, a weird position um, and I do wake up with them sore quite often lately. So who knows? Anyway, so enough yakking. I'm going to show you guys an exercise that I discovered when I was um, kind of frantically looking through all the different manuals that I've got here from all the different experts and gurus that I follow. Um, and I was flipping through Turbulence Training by Craig Ballantyne, the king of bodyweight exercises, and um, he reminded me of a really good bodyweight exercise that you can do to strengthen your hamstrings and your glutes um, without really any equipment whatsoever. And I'm going to show you a video of, uh, of him doing them as well and another one that I found of a girl that I think she's doing, she really knows what she's doing. She, she's got really, really strong hamstrings. Um, so I'm going to demo them first and uh, I apologize because I have only tried them once to see how they felt. Um, so I'm going to demo them for you but I'm not very good at them yet and my hamstrings do need some strengthening. So um, I'm going to turn the camera off and turn it back on. Uh, with me doing them and then we'll talk a bit more and then I'll play you a couple of videos that I found um, of these other two people, Craig Ballantyne, as well as um, this girl doing them. I'll be right back, okay? See you in a sec. Okay, you guys, so this is the, the trick to doing it at home alone. Uh, the videos I'm going to show you, both people have a partner, um, but if you don't have a partner, all you need is something heavy, like a couch. When was the last time someone told you the, a good way to work out was to get near your couch? <laughs> I bet it's the first. Anyway, so I get near my heavy couch and I get into position to, um, basically you're trying to strengthen your hamstrings, right? So the idea is to just basically go forward as far as you can while you're, uh, sorry, you probably can't see me. Uh, go forward as far as you can uh, with the, until your hamstrings more or less give out and then just put your hands in front of yourself to catch yourself 
Uh, or if you're really, really strong, you probably get really far down and come right back up again. There's no way I can do that. So that's one of the reasons I know I need to do this, I do a few of these. So I'm going to do a couple. Um, I suck at it, so pardon me. But basically, you just go down, 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 and that's as far as I can go. And then catch yourself and push yourself back up. And then go down, 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 ah, and back up again. Um, and I don't push myself up too hard when I'm coming back up again because I can get my hamstrings to do a little bit of the work for me while I'm coming up. So that's the move. Um, let me just grab a camera. That's the move, and now I'll show you a couple of people who do them well, because obviously I do not, um, and I obviously need to do them a whole bunch more. So I'm going to. Uh, I'm actually kind of excited about it, because I can really feel it in my hams, and I'm excited about strengthening them with the hopes that this, this, this solves some things for me. So anyway, so thanks to Craig Ballantyne for showing me, uh, reminding me about these, uh, particular, this particular move, because I had completely forgotten about it, and um, I kind of discounted the fact that I couldn't do them at home because I really didn't have anything, any way to do them at home until I realized I do have a heavy couch, so why can't I do them at home? I don't need a partner. So for anybody who works at home, you can uh, do the same thing. Just find something heavy to stick your feet under to support you. So I'm going to put a link here to Craig as well, uh, Craig's book, Tur Turbulence, Tr uh, Turbulence Training, in case you guys want to check out his other good, great stuff because he's got a lot of great body weight exercise um, ideas in his manuals. And I flip through them all the time, trying to find new and better ways to work out at home uh, with just body weight um, if I don't feel like I've got the right equipment for whatever part of my body I want to strengthen that day or that week or that month or whatever. Um, he's a great resource, so definitely check it out, uh, if, especially if you work out at home with minimal equipment because you really can get a great workout uh, with just body weight. You don't really need a lot of equipment to get a great workout at home. You don't need to go to the gym. Uh, your own body is a fantastic weight um, to have to lift. So anyway, um, that's it for today. Uh, so I will put the two videos down below, one of Craig. There's no audio in that one, so when you play it and you're like, Was there, where's the audio, where's the audio? That's what I was doing. I played it like three times. I'm like, how come I can't hear the audio? What's wrong with my computer this time? <laughs> There's no audio in the video. Uh, and then the second one of this uh, volleyball player girl that um, has some smoking strong hamstrings. She can get down really, really low before she bounces back up again. I'm really quite impressed by her. I think I will make her my benchmark and see if I can catch her. <laughs> Give me a few months though, okay? Anyway, you guys, I hope you're having a great, uh, had a great weekend and brand new week, uh, lots of exciting stuff, and I hope you guys have got great stuff planned. Uh, I know I do, so um, let's get on with it, shall we? Have a good one. See you soon.